Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And um, I am now on 1.3.9 R. Uh, so obviously I do my recordings in advance of them going up on YouTube. I have tried where possible, where people are going, oh, target log. I said, hey, apparently it's fixed in 1.3.9. This is the first time I've uh, started playing it. Um, I also hear that tooltips were... <laughs> no, uh, I saw something in the patch notes about tooltips, but no, it looks like they still can disappear off the top of the screen, which... Oh, well. Uh, I much just must have misunderstood the patch note. It's, it's something about offset of tooltips or something. Anyway, the Courageous, along with the Zebra, that's an E-class, uh, belonging to Romania. The Taurus, which I think is a C-class belonging to Romania, the Barfleur, and the Senator, which is a Greek A-class destroyer. And we found a bunch of Italian light cruisers and an Italian destroyer. So a chance to uh, clear up some of the 80-odd light cruisers that uh, Italy has at their disposal. Courageous looking fine in the uh, Mediterranean sunshine. CS E class, even if it is Romanian, pretty dangerous. Uh, what kind of crew have they got on it? Trained? Very good. So, as good as one of our E classes. Uh, the Senator, pretty old ship, uh, not upgraded at all. Uh, the Barfleur. And the Taurus. Let's go. Could be a ghost battle, actually, but I don't think it is. Uh, I am using the balance mod, of course. Um, don't leave home without it. But torpedo damage has been buffed again. And it's now four and a half times larger than it is in the vanilla game which is very spicy but torpedo defenses so the torpedo reduction from damage reduction from your anti-torp and i'm assuming that uh, double triple bottom hulls and whatever has been increased as well so now torpedoes are very 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 dangerous to light cruisers and lower um, and still more dangerous to capital ships, but if you've got a torpedo defense system, then you'll probably be okay taking maybe one or two, but more more than that, and you're going to be in trouble, which I think is, is a good change. Um, torpedoes are so hard to hit with for the player, that uh, if you do manage to get a hit in, you want it to be uh, a powerful one. We saw them briefly, but now they've disappeared again. Hiding in a smoke screen. There they are. And flank him. Oh well, I thought target locks were fixed, but oh no, it's fixed itself. I don't mind if it just shows it there, as long as they're able to fix themselves. That's kind of the the main thing. Right, you not get away from that torpedo launch. Or well, you could sail into it and then away again. Jesus. Oh. Lucky. How's uh, Courageous doing? Mm. No, she is target looking. Look, watch. 
I bet you that fixes it. No? Yep, there we go. So it does still happen. It's a shame. Maybe change the UI a little bit. That looks like similar behavior to me. Right, I guess the destroyer. Kind of got a partial. Switch up to uh, automatic. Fine, let's get the destroyers back over here. Looks different, but uh, it's possibly even worse now. Nope, fixed. Okay, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to play this a lot to test it out. I think it's better, but yeah, the way this aimed thing works is still a bit weird to me because, um, yeah, switching if it's not aiming, switching targets makes it quicker to aim, which doesn't make a heap of sense. I'll need to try it out in a one-on-one. -on -one. It does seem to fix itself if it does happen. Slow down a bit. Get a bit more uh, accuracy out of those guns. Torpedoes with the range of their torps. Oh, five kilometers. Okay, we can get a bit closer then. Zebra taking a hit. Destroyers straying a little bit too close. Zebra's rudder is disabled. Which might make her vulnerable to that torpedo. Ugh. Not too much damage, actually. They're 20 inch torps. Another one coming out. Switch on the avoidance for the rest of the squadron. Turn off. Oh, never mind. The uh, <laughs> courageous dealing with them. Senator, of course, that has Gen 1 torpedoes, so hard to get her in range, although we did just get a torpedo hit. Not even sure what from. Taurus. Might have been the one to dump them. No, she just fired. Mm. Oof. Is fired at the center, I think. Mm -hmm. well, it does hit, but it's a dud. 
one of those is going to hit. Nah, I didn't go for it. Mm -hmm. I think they're running. Switch to HE. Range guns, obviously do very much, but keep their uh, damage control parties pretty busy. them in with high explosive that works too Hit on the secondary tower. Oh, they get hit on the bathroom. But uh, a main belt pen for 30,000 damage wipes the Ostro off the face of the planet. And. Uh, Four light cruises to the bottom. Thousands more to go. <laughs> right, I'm going to load up the next battle and I'll see you there. Welcome back. So we have the Tribune. Uh, along with the Intensive. That's uh, an older version of the Interceptor class belonging to Greece. And the Vigorous, which is a Romanian C-class destroyer. And two more of these uh, Piemonte class cruisers. Which, you know, they're... They're not a huge, huge threat. Uh, yes, they have a lot of them, but they're not especially uh, frightening. So this is the new one, because it has twin turrets instead of the... In fact, this is the original layout with the three singles on the back. The newer ones... Oh no, sorry, this is a Tribune and this is an Interceptor. Okay, I need to split them up. Uh, this is the older version of the Interceptor. The current version of the Interceptors have uh, a duel here and two duels at the back. So six guns rather than four. And the original versions of these have just two guns. One here, one here, rather than the four. I will upgrade these to triples, I think, uh, when I get the chance so they can have six guns, which is starting to approach a sensible number of guns, six inch guns for a cruiser. Um, a Tribune, old ship, been around since the start of the campaign, lead of a class. Still, uh, still going strong. Another torpedo. Which 
I just don't think is uh, sent the right way at all. out against the La Massa. Okay, I would have thought that the Valoroso was the uh, better bet, but okay. And yeah, torpedoes miss, because of course the torpedoes miss. wasn't expecting to... Uh, Big impact with the torpedoes anyway. Vigorous is now reloading. Chipping away with her five inch guns. damaging them, but it's not saying much. Oh, hello. Hmm. Try a full reverse. Don't normally press it, but in this case, might. Nope. Did not. Uh, go to normal on your tops and get out and smoke. coming in with the save, I think. Hopefully. Crossing the T. Not that it really matters, but attempting to cross the T, but not firing. Oh, there we go. Was working on uh, firing her torps. Uh, one of them might hit. Very nice. Twenty-one inch torpedo, causing a lot of damage to La Massa just under a uh, main tower. Vigorous, you reloaded it. No, nope, but you will be soon. Counter torpedo. Dud. Ooh. Okay. Switch up to the Valero so you got a better angle against it. Back to La Massa. Trying to go after the attentive. I 
don't know what they're up to. Zigzagging all over the place. Destroying a main gun on the Valor, I see. Torpedo going out. Don't think that's going to hit the attentive anyway. Right, Vigorous. See if you can torpedo La Massa. You know, may think I'll type the Valoroso, but I actually don't want you to do that. Torpedoes away. And yes, <laughs> I was targeting that ship, but boom. Two hits on the other one. <laughs> That's the increased damage at work there. That took a lot off the Valoroso. So now both Italian cruisers are badly damaged. Oh, in fact, the Valoroso sinks. Very good job by the Vigorous there. <laughs> by targeting a different ship. Being still trying to work up, finish La Massa off, who might be withdrawing actually. She can only make 16 knots, so we should be able to catch it. I could catch her with Vigorous, but Vigorous is. Uh, out of torpedoes now. Just have to plink away with the HE for now. of HE damage. Quite a, quite a few fires on La Massa. She is out of torpedoes, so there is uh, no danger to me closing in with it. that flooding is overtaking it. There we go. Finally lost the battle with the flooding. Good job by the squadron there. Very good job. Um, how much are those Italian cruisers? 22 million. Okay, so compared to a 1910 interceptor, they're about the same price. And they're about the same price as a refitted Tribune. So pretty even battle. Okay, yes, we had the advantage because we had the Vigorous, but overall... Um, going into a slight advantage, two cruisers down, no losses on our side, pretty decent. Right, I'm going to head back to the map and uh, do an overview of what's going on, just mainly for my own sake, but I thought might as well show you guys as well, and uh, I'll see you there. Welcome to the politics screen. So we're still at war with Spain. Um, they're blockaded though, so I'm imagining that they are going to give up relatively soon. They do have, still have seven capital ships, though. Um, Austria-Hungary suffering. Their GDP is in the doldrums. But not as much as G Germany, which is in a big war with France. And 
just really struggling to make any headway at all. Uh, China um, <laughs> is us. We're looking pretty good, actually. Uh, GDP has just gone past 300 million, which is excellent. Uh, Japan, hey, 25 battle cruisers, cool. Uh, they actually quite like us now. Fair enough. Italy, this is the one we're here to actually have a look at. 10 battleships, 75 light cruisers, oh my god. Six destroyers, and they're at war with us, France, America, Russia. Nearly at war with Austria-Hungary and China. Hmm. Yeah, it's not going super well for you at the moment, is it? Italy, oh, Russia though, 40, 41 battleships. Uh, and six battle cruisers, they're going, going absolutely bonkers. Um, France, that's a pretty big navy, but je ne <laughs> 100 light cruisers, Jesus. And the US, again, with a massive fleet. Um, what is it in terms of total... To Actually, we're very close to their GDP figure, which is really good going. At 261... No, sorry, two, that's 2.6 million tons, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 figures, yeah. Um, so 2.6, 1.9, 2 2.2. Uh, I wish there were uh, 1,000 separators in these numbers, like there are over here. Uh One million dead, 2.2, 2. Okay, so we're just over 2 million. Okay, so we're not way out in front in terms of tonnage, but, you know, they've got 35, 22... They've got, like, 57 capital ships in the United States, and we have 40-odd, and our Navy tonnage is similar... And a lot of our fleet is destroyers. So I'm wondering what kind of battleships they have built. Anyway, there we go. That's all this stuff. Uh, research. We are getting a cruiser tech, but it's a blank one. No new hulls. Um, I have noticed that the little question mark things have been going away. Um, like before there were placeholders, I think. For where they were going to add hulls, but now it just says new hulls available and there's nothing. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't look like we're getting anything soon, apart from, I mean, well it's not soon, but the modernised Dreadnought is on the way, very slowly. Big guns, progress is going really well, we've now got the Mark 3 14 inch, don't know what this is. Uh, and we're on to Mark 5 3 inch guns, so some of the Mark 5s starting to appear, very exciting. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for all of that. Uh, fleets are deployed to blockade Spain. I kind of want to knock Spain out of the war. Uh, and then, so I can move on to Italy. Who we kind of need to knock down to size. They are trying to invade out of, uh, or attack out of Eritrea and Ethiopia into Sudan. But they're slightly outnumbered, so I don't think they're going to do super well uh, and of course we do have naval invasion targets uh, we can take Tripoli, uh, Sir Cyrenaica, uh, Eritrea and Ethiopia although I don't think we can navally invade Ethiopia but so that one will have to come in a peace deal if we can get it um, we could of course take Sardinia <laughs> as well um, what do I need to navally invade Sardinia oh I can't can't do anything at the moment. Right, I'm going to end the turn. And I will be back with you when there's some more stuff to talk about. Welcome back. Uh, I'm locked out from doing anything uh, until I fight a few battles. By the looks of it, uh, the Indomitable has found three more light cruisers. We have the Victor, uh, D Romanian D-Class. The Verity, which is a Greek... I want to say C-Class um, and another Greek C-Class in the Undine. Right, let's go. 
Do, 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 do. Cool. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not surprised I'm getting a lot of battles because uh, the Italians just have so many ships um, that pretty much any Royal Navy ship that is going anywhere is going to bump into them. Uh, let's see our Romanian and Greek allies chipping in though. the enemy. We know they can be dangerous with their torpedoes. Ah, oh, and their cloaking devices. Oh, sorry, that's someone at my door. Ah, oh, welcome back. Well, it's a very short time for you, but a few minutes for me as i totally forgotten that I had a shopping delivery come. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to it. They're in there somewhere. Can't hide forever. Yep, there they are. Good hit. Main belt pen sinking the fiume. Got the torpedoes going out. One of which I guess was for the fiume, which does connect. But this one, no, they're turning away. Pretty nasty opening, uh, opening strike. Well handled by. The uh, Allied destroyers there, just to keep in, keeping those cruisers spotted, launching the torps. Getting in double in a perfect position to strike. Strike? Where was that torpedo going? I was going for the victor. Oof. Okay, I think the victor will survive, but she needs to move off. Whilst Indomitable closes to murder in range. Rosalino Pilo trying her best, spitting torpedoes out, but uh, not the right target to try and get them. Flooding, moving into her engine spaces, and they abandon ship. Well, okay then. Uh, again, really good work by the Allied destroyers, and uh, let's see what other battles we have. Well, I have another required fight. We have the Venice, uh, one of the Italian battleships has made an appearance. These are pretty expensive ships, and I seem to remember them being pretty good as well. Uh, we have the Revenge class out to deal with them, plus the Bembo, uh, and a whole heap of light cruisers to make up the numbers. We can punch a pretty big hole in their fleet. 
uh, if we can sink this lot. Hmm, a couple of them have taken damage. Okay, they may be just waiting to... Uh, waiting to go to port to get those uh, dings fixed. I don't remember them seeing them on the mine report, but you never know. Being on blockade duty. Let's try and get our line sorted. Enemy's going to disappear anyway. Maybe got the range, maybe not. What are they up to? Uh, oh, they've deployed in a circle formation. You can tell by the uh, the smoke. So we're actually heading the wrong way. Let's go this way. Focus on Bembo, given uh, Italian fleet tactics that we've seen so far. Oh, hello. That must have been a Yeah, they really are. Try to hit Bembo. Um, back you go. Oh, that was a solid hit. Uh, Royal Oak. Uh, getting a pretty good hit, but yeah, Bembo took a Citadel hit there. Where are those torpedoes going? This way. Revenge, why the fuck are you turning the wrong way? Torpedoes do. Should survive. It's annoying because hits on the back tend not to uh, get crazy damage like that. Thought she might get a rudder damage, not full on problems. <laughs> I think she should be able to control the flooding. Sunk a destroyer. <laughs> Which I think was probably the torpedo threat. 
might have to blast our way through the cruisers. She'll be okay, actually. Weirdly. Uh, I'm having a hard time connecting. Despite the uh, decent numbers. Solution. Focus on the Venice. Like, I know you want to kill the light cruisers, but not important right this second. B on the Venice. Ooh, another good hit. gun ammo as well. Generoso sinks, that's something. Damage. Venice, I think, is sunk here. Oh, 
apologies if you can hear some atmospheric washing machine noises. Got him. We're all sovereign with the uh, killing blow. cover as she withdraws. Big hit. I have to kind of zigzag a little bit. so good at that. Just getting a chance to fire. Either as a ship sinks or just before they're forced to uh, turn away. <laughs> Shit. Royal Oak doesn't react well to torpedoes historically. Resolution, why are you at a dead stop? Hmm. AI on off. Yeah, AI on off has fixed it. Cool. Got him. since whoa where did the first torpedo come from I was looking at this one shit well, at least we've got the Roma Is 
solution doesn't appear to be responding to commands, which is a slight issue. Firing it. Oh, I probably ordered you to. Okay, never mind. As you were. Revenge. Resolution isn't going to obey commands. I'm going to put her on uh, AI control. Rule Sovereign has managed to uh, avoid. Well, that one's a homing torpedo. That's not brilliant. off them now. Put Royal Sovereign on AI control as well. Don't understand why she's not responding either. Probably something to do with me pressing buttons. Torpedoes. Ah, blow them up. Good. A few light cruisers left. How annoying they are. Probably is worth seeing if we can finish them off, but that is very far away. Now, do you know what? I'm going to end the battle here. Uh, not the best, but also not the worst. Uh, one, two, three. Three light cruisers and a destroyer get away, but we got the battleship. That's the main one. They're very expensive, those things. It's only 200 million each, uh, which is more than a revenge. Very expensive vessels. And uh, yeah, we sunk a few more light cruisers. I need to be more careful, though. Those uh, Italian torpedoes, they have a longer range than you expect. And uh, yeah, my torpedo skills, not up to it today. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I know there's still more battles to do this month, but I need a bit of a rest after that. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.